All of a sudden, I can't deny. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Super Jesus Jackson, the channel. But yes, of course, I am Super Jesus Jackson. And today, oh boy, you know, I look like a fool. I look like a fool because last video, well, the last video was an art wave video, which you should definitely check out. But the, the, the video before that one, you know, we did Charlie Puth, we reacted to, analyzed one of his most underrated tracks, and I talked about Light Switch, and how it was supposed to come out that week, Friday. But of course not. We got kanye by Charlie Puth. No, it came out this Thursday. Today is Thursday, January 20th. It's when the song came out, or, yeah, 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 past tense. <laughs> Whoa, relax there, Chris. <laughs> But he also dropped the music video. And that is what we're going to be taking a look at today. I have already heard the song. Now, granted, we've all been hearing the fucking song for like five months on TikTok, which is, again, a genius marketing move. But he has dropped the music video. And I figure I would wait to see the music video. Oh, I've been wanting to see this music video since like six in the morning, okay, when I, when I woke up. So... Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Reaction, analysis, light switch. It's possibly attention 2.0. Now, granted, I've already listened to the song, and I do have my thoughts on the song. Not that the music video will change my thoughts on the song, but inevitably, when you listen to something, you know, more and more, your thoughts can evolve. So, maybe they'll evolve. But so far, I, I can confidently say this song is still... Attention 2.0. Or is it? Oh god, please, Charlie Puth fans, don't kill me. And Charlie Puth, if you're watching this, I love you. Huh? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go.
Oh my god. Okay, look. Listen to me very carefully. That's got to be one of the best music videos I've ever seen in my life. In my vida. Okay, a lot to unpack here. A lot to unpack here. So I did... Sorry for cheating, but I did see a little bit of his Q&A right before he premiered the video. I did not see the video, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is not COVID. But he did say how he put a lot of Easter eggs in this video. I guess let me just get those out of the way for now. So it, it's clearly very 80s inspired, right? Which makes sense. You know, we got Dua Lipa. We got The Weeknd doing 80s type music. Bruno Mars doing some, some classic 70s, 60s soul music and stuff. So, you know, we're very much, you know, going back. Okay, we're, we're going back. Not a surprise here, but... I, like I've said in other Charlie Puth videos that I've done, I like how he incorporates old music, old genres, and he makes them sound new, and he makes them sound like they came out today. It's amazing. And this song is no different, okay? Uh, but I'm going to talk about this song musically a little later, but right now with the Easter eggs. So clearly very 80s inspired workout routine, you know, that whole thing. And I mean some karate kid in there right which is an 80s movie right of course like the, the not only you know did he did he have the outfit you know like the classic uh what's his name ralph machio machio i still don't know how to pronounce his name but that classic outfit karate kid outfit when he's when he's like you know um kind of training and stuff with mr miyagi and of course the fence painting like come on how could we forget so i like that I like that a lot. The mentorship, of course, you know, you have this guy who's like down and out or whatever, and an older man comes in to help the the troubled, lost youth. <laughs> so, you know, that's pretty cool. There's some stocks in there. It, it looked a little bit like Bitcoin. I, 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 I don't know, but it, stocks definitely, which is like hilarious. This, this is definitely like an 80s video meeting a 2022 video. That is what this is. And again, that's another, my mind is blown now. It's like, yeah, 80s, 80s music being combined with modern music and also like 80s music videos being combined with 2022 like technology and, 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 and culture, you know, like it. Charlie Puth is onto something here. Okay. He is. I'm telling you right now. And you know, I'm actually surprised they were bold enough to do a video like this. Uh, I guess it makes sense because it is from the 80s. Th a video like this would easily come out in the 80s, but they were bold enough to have some sort of commentary on obesity and uh, weight loss and stuff like that. Things that are kind of, yeah, still very positive, you know, losing weight and stuff like that. But it's very teeter-tottery in a way. Like, you can't really bank on that theme as much on, on the obesity theme or, you know, the overweight slash which would just watches TV and does nothing theme. You know, anything that portrays being overweight in a negative light is kind of frowned upon. But they did it. Um, and, you know, it's very lighthearted, so th there's nothing offensive here, you know, I think. Um, but him, you know, fighting to lose all that weight and to get, you know, be more financially stable and, and all that, you know, just to win back the girl that he wanted to be with. And then <laughs> the, the guy, he just comes out and he's like, he was bigger than Charlie. He, yeah, he was worse than Charlie. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I absolutely love it. God damn it. it. I'm at a loss of words. I'm at a loss of words. I mean, I maybe should have expected that, but but no, I didn't. Okay, because we were, we, you know, he was singing outside of her house doing the typical guy thing, right? <laughs> and then we get that. I love it. I think it's great. And I also do like how the, the girlfriend here, the girl that we get, is not, you know, the typical Caucasian girl in, in music videos. I mean, that's probably something that I, know, I shouldn't be saying anymore because, uh, you know, nowadays we're getting much more diversity in music videos and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's I liked it. I like to see that diversity is very nice. I also like how there's basically like no dialogue in, in this music video at all. There's no introduction, really. There's, there's nothing at all. Like, it's just the song. And he's not even lip singing like the, the, the song for like, what, 80 percent of it? You know, like, I, I like that. Like, I like it. It's pretty bold. It's literally just like a video. Like, you know, with music. <laughs> a lot of things to love and like about this video. Very funny, very entertaining, very 
slightly inspiring and weird. Like you would think it wouldn't be about this. I, I like how it, it just didn't go the typical route when it comes to the narrative of the track. Like, you know, you hear the lyrics of the, of the song and, you know, clearly it's like a song about a girl who just turns you on, right? Very, it could be a very sexual song in that way, right? Also could be, you know, taken in an emotional, romantic way. But they took that and sort of did something a little bit differently, still in the same vein. It's about this guy who gets inspired, motivated, turned on through a mentor, through his desire to be uh, again with his with his ex-girlfriend because he loved her so much to turn his life around. I like that. It's like a switch happened and ah. Uh, like, it was, a, it was an awakening moment. It was a eureka moment, you know, an epiphany. <laughs> so I, I, I like that. I, I enjoy that quite a bit, you know. I'm glad that they didn't go the typical route. Although, the, if they would, that's what I expected. Um, you know, I would have probably loved it, too. As far as the music goes, the song itself, honestly, I am very impressed with the track. Overall, the production is higher. Like, it, it, it's what I, I expected, but, like, because we, we got so many sneak peeks and stuff of the song, I didn't realize how, like, amazing it would sound once I have the mastered song, like, in my headphones, you know, like, playing, and... It, the panning, the production of the track, the instrumentation, just every aspect of it, you know, it makes sense, uh, it makes sense why this song took a, a long time to make, and given that it only has three writers, yes, a pop song that only has three writers in 2022, <laughs> I know, I'm shocked too, but this is which you get quality, you know, when when you put effort into something. Now, Charlie, I didn't appreciate the the Kanye-ing of, of, of the release of your song, did not, but, but hey, whatever, it's fine, I still listen to your song, I still want to give it as much streams as possible, so, the song is ultimately like a 9.5 out of 10 for me, maybe like a 9, like on a bad day, <laughs> as if that's a bad thing, um, but it, it's really because the, usually Charlie Puth has great climaxes in his songs, and not necessarily the bridge of the track, it's really more of like the the, like the latter end of the song. That's what I, you know, that's the, really the more the climax of the track. And, um, you know, attention's latter end is amazing, right? Vocally, the ad libs are on point. And this one, the ad libs at the very end, uh, most of them worked. 95% of the time it did. And then there's that 5%. And it's, it, it's one specific part that I will point out right now. That that ad lib just did not work for me, and I wish he would have chosen something else. And it it's it because it's that one thing, it kind of bothers me a little bit, like, you know. But everything else is is pretty much perfect, and um, yeah, I'm 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 really happy with this song overall. Uh, but let me know what you think of it. I mean, I wanted it to like immediately be like, oh my god, this is better than like attention. It probably. It probably is, honestly, but because I've listened to it so many times, like, maybe it, like, decreased, like, the impact of it. But no, a good song's a good song, you know? So, uh, I don't know, talk to me in, like, a few days. I'll probably tell you it's better than attention, so. <laughs> but that was the music video reaction analysis of Charlie Puth's Light Switch. I'm pretty sure I missed a ton of other things, you know, but... I'm, what I did end up saying, I'm pretty glad, I'm pretty amazed. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the song. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. Are you gonna go listen to it incessantly? Hope so. Please share this video with your Charlie Puth loving friends if you will. Subscribe if you enjoy this content. Like this video if you enjoyed, dislike it if you didn't. You take care, stay safe, and until next time, I love you. Baby, come out, come out, come out, come out. Alright. I'm like a light switch when you're moving your body. Light switch when you're moving your body. You turn me on like a light switch when you're moving your body around and around. No, I don't wanna fight this.